Welcome back. Now we are going to start discussion on design aspects for sheet metal drawing process and sheet metal drawing dies. And there are a number of uh, factors that we can discuss uh, in our discussion on engineering analysis of deep drawing process. And they include measures of drawing feasibility and we will discuss three measures that is drawing ratio, reduction and thickness to diameter ratio. Just like in the case of sheet metal bending, we do need to calculate the exact size of the starting blank in the case of deep drawing process as well. Then we may need to calculate the number of drawing operations required in case of redrawing, that is when more than one drawing operations are required to make a part. The importance of drawing radii, that is the radius on the punch and the die as well as clearance between punch and die. It is also important to calculate the force required to perform a drawing operation so that we can select appropriate press to perform that operation. And as we saw in the previous segment that one important factor in deep drawing process is the blank holding force. So it is also important to estimate uh, a, a proper value, a reasonable value of the blank holding force as well. So in this segment, we will focus on three measures of uh, drawing feasibility, that is drawing ratio, reduction and thickness to diameter ratio. So first drawing ratio. It is most easily defined for cylindrical shape and this is the ratio of uh, the blank diameter and punch diameter. It indicates severity of a given drawing operation. So greater the ratio, the more severe the operation is. So the upper limit for drawing ratio is two. So drawing ratio should be less than or equal to two. Now, if it is greater than two, then we may require more than one drawing operation or we may require uh, heating the blank between different uh, drawing operations. Another important uh, factor or another important parameter to check drawing feasibility is reduction. And reduction is actually drawing ratio uh, measured as a percentage. So it is the difference of uh, the blank diameter and punch diameter divided by uh, the blank diameter and multiplied by 100. So it is closely related to drawing ratio and it is consistent with the previous limit on drawing ratio that is less than or equal to two. So the value of R should be less than 0 0.50. For example, if the diameter of the blank is say four and the diameter of the punch is say two, then the drawing ratio will be equal to four over two. So that is two and reduction will be equal to four minus two over two that is 0.50 or 50%. Another important uh, parameter is thickness to diameter ratio, the thickness of starting blank divided by blank diameter. It is often expressed as a percent. So desirable for T over D ratio to be greater than 1%. As this ratio decreases, tendency for wrinkling increases. So whenever these limits on drawing ratio and reduction and thickness to diameter ratio are exceeded, <clears throat> the blank must be drawn in two or more steps, sometimes with annealing between the steps. So let's solve a simple example to illustrate the use of these uh, parameters. A drawing operation is to be uh, performed for a cylindrical cup with inside diameter 75 mm and height uh, 50 mm. The starting blank size is 138 mm and the stock thickness is 2.4 mm. Based on these data, is the operation feasible or not? So drawing ratio will be equal to the diameter of the blank divided by diameter of the punch. So diameter of the blank is 138 and the diameter of the punch that is actually the inner diameter 
of the cylindrical cup is 75 mm. So that will be equal to 138 divided by 75. So that is equal to 1.84. So obviously that is less than 2.0. Similarly, the reduction will be equal to uh, the difference of blank diameter and punch diameter. And again, the pint diameter is actually the inside diameter of the cup divided by blank diameter. So that will be equal to 138 minus 75 divided by 138. So that turns out to be 0.4565 expressed as percentage that will be equal to 45.65% and that is of course less than 50%. And similarly, the thickness to diameter ratio and diameter here is the diameter of the blank. So the thickness is 2.4 mm, so 2.4 divided by diameter of the blank that is 138. So that is approximately equal to 0.017 or as a percentage that is 1.7%. So that is of course greater than 1%. So as all these three measures are uh, having an acceptable value, that is uh, this uh, diameter ratio is less than two and this reduction is less than 50% and thickness to diameter ratio is greater than 1%. So we can say that this drawing operation is feasible or we can make this shape that is a cylindrical cup with a, a with a height of 50 and with a diameter of 75 mm in one operation. That is, this shape can be made in one step. 